This is the third video in the series. We're going to cover failure analysis and chromate and cracks for the absorption refrigeration protective control. This presentation will demonstrate how the ARP control is a safety device which is similar to a seat belt in a car. Seat belts in cars save lives and the ARP control prevents fires in addition to keeping the single pressure absorption refrigeration system alive for many years. As was shown in the previous presentations, the refrigerant is ammonia, water, and sodium chromate. Let's talk about each of the refrigerant components and, and the purpose it serves. Ammonia changes phase in the boiler and then condenses back into liquid so that it can evaporate within the refrigerated cabinet. Ammonia is the working fluid that not only creates circulation for the entire process, it is responsible for removing heat from the refrigerated space. Ammonia is very corrosive. A lot of the typical metals that resist corrosion, such as brass, are attacked by ammonia. This is why the cooling unit tubing is made of steel. Water is the absorbent. Ammonia and water are truly like two peas in a pod. Water absorbs ammonia and the two exist in a liquid state until heated. Water is corrosive to steel. This whole thing's getting a little emotional. But we're not done yet with the ride. Chromate solves the corrosion problems introduced by ammonia and water. Chromate forms a passivation layer on the steel tubing of the cooling unit. A passivation layer helps prevent corrosion from within. Sodium chromate will form crystals when it is dried out and then baked by off-level operation. Once the chromate crystals form, there's no reversing the damage. The ammonia and water go to work on the cooling unit tubing, which results in the failure of the refrigerator. What can be done about RV refrigerator highs and lows? Thankfully, the ARP control solves all of the aforesaid problems so that RV folks are happy campers. Before moving on, we're going to finish the unhappy story of why RV refrigerators fail. We will review the phase plot seen in the former presentations, but from a different perspective. The scales have been changed to better see the entire SPAR cycle. All zone information is derived from empirical ARP control temperature and pressure test data. The green zone represents the typical temperature for normal operation of the SPAR. The yellow zone is the temperature at which the ARP control turns off the heat source to protect the system. The red curve is the temperature at which pure water boils. There is a 19 degree Celsius safety factor before the water starts to boil in the cooling unit. So what's the big deal over the temperature at which water boils? Returning to the sodium chromate, when the water starts to boil, one, the chromate starts to concentrate and then it will crystallize and plug the pump tube. Two, once the chromate crystallizes, it no longer stops the ammonia and water from corroding the cooling unit tubing. Three, boiling results in cavitation pitting of the tubing accelerating failure. Without sodium chromate, corrosion causes pitting from within the cooling unit. Combined with heat stress, the cooling unit tubing can fail at high stress areas such as around welded joints. Crack in the tubing allows the refrigerant to escape. If the failure occurs when an open flame is present, there's a good possibility of a fire. Returning to the plot, we will now discuss the green curve. The green curve is the elevated temperature at which water with sodium chromate boils. To be safe, we use pure water as the level where problems will start to occur within the cooling unit. Because the boiling point is elevated by sodium chromate, 
The safety factor is truly 34 degrees Celsius above the temperature at which the ARP control shuts off the heat source. The ARP control is the only effective controller which prevents off-level damage to RV refrigerators. Cavitation pitting and corrosion lead to stress cracks and boilers resulting in fires. Degradation of the sodium chromate corrosion inhibitor is a direct consequence of off-level operation. The RP control is fully automatic. Could you imagine monitoring the temperature within your refrigerator and turning it on and off to keep the food at a constant temperature? No, there is an automatic control which performs this function. Up until now, the operator of the RV refrigerator has been responsible for keeping the temperature inside the spar boiler within safe limits by maintaining a level orientation of the RV while the RV is parked. This is no longer the case. RV owners can focus on their vacation and let the ARP control solve off-level operator error. This concludes video 3. We covered a lot of ground in a short time. Thank you for viewing. Please see the next video in the series. If you have questions, please contact us at the email address given or visit our website for further information.